Hi, and welcome to this Fournav coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fournav, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to explain the structure of Fournav reports, or what, what can you modify and where. We will look at how the reports are built up inside an extension and how you can change reports inside that extension. If you can't or don't want to edit an extension, you can create a custom report layout inside your Business Central database. Finally, you can also modify Fornav reports by changing the setup in the Fornav language or setup tables. We have discussed these options in earlier coffee breaks, so we will not discuss them here. To demonstrate the structure of Fornav reports, I'm going to use these steps. The prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will explain the structure of Fornav reports. In step three, I will modify the code object and built-in layout. In step four, I will create and modify custom, la custom layouts. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will work in a Business Central on-premise server with the Business Central 2022 Wave 1 release. I've installed the universal code version of the Fornav customizable report pack and I've executed a step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. I also have the Fornav designer installed on my PC. The Fornav designer can be downloaded from the Fornav website. The first thing we need to do is have a look at the structure of Fornav reports. Every Business Central report, whether it's a Fornav report or not, consists of two parts. Firstly, there is the code object that contains the report's dataset, the tables, the tables it's connected to, and the code to find, filter, and get the data you need. Secondly, there is the layout file that contains all the information that Fornav needs to render the report. Both files are packaged in an extension app file. Extensions are the basic building blocks of Business Central. Every object in Business Central, tables, pages, etc. is inside an extension. So every Fornav report needs to be placed inside of an extension. Some report extensions are maintained by Fornav or another software vendor, but you can create your own report extensions as well. If you create your own extensions, then you can of course change the report extension and all of the files inside it. If you use standard reports, you cannot change the objects inside of the extension. Of course, you will also want to change the layout for the standard reports as well. You can do that with a tool called Custom Report Layouts. These are layout files that are stored inside the Business Central database itself, not inside the extension objects. You can create as many of these as you like. So now that we know the basic structure of four nav reports, we will create a new report extension and we are going to have a look under the hood of that extension just to see how, how everything works. So I will move over to the Fornav Designer and I'm going to create a new report and this is just a plain box standard template report. I'm not going to do any layout work on it at all. I am just going to use, use it to show you how to work, uh, how these uh, uh, Fornav reports are built and interconnected. Let's try that again. Looks like Murphy has joined us today. That's better. So here we have a brand new report inside of an extension. Now, it's very important to know that I'm uh, editing a report extension right now. So that means I have full control of both the code object and of the layout. So uh, in a way, what I'm doing with Fornav is editing both the code and the layout files at the same time. And to show you what exactly I mean with this, I am just going to save this report as an object on the server. This is going to create a new extension on my Business Central server. And this extension I'm going to download. It's called 4 now 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's just the default name for my extension. I'll download it in my downloads folder and then I will unpack that extension. And you can do this with every extension that has the show my code set to uh, set to true. 
In other words, you can't do this when the vendor of the extension has blocked the, uh, the looking at the code. So that opens in VS Code on my other screen. So what I've done is I've created a new report extension, uh, which is a simple extension with a simple with a single report inside of it. I have downloaded and unpacked that extension so I can have a look at all of the files inside the extension. And you will notice that in my extension I have my report.al and ignore the uh, the error messages because I haven't downloaded symbols because I don't need to edit this uh, this extension. But if I look inside my reports al file, you will notice that this al file contains all of the code I need to run the report, and it also contains my dataset. And my dataset are the tables that this report is connected to. You will notice that this is connected to the customer table, and it has a bunch of code in order to run uh, my report. I can edit this this code if I want to, uh, but I'm not going to right now. The important thing that we want to look at right now is this word layout property. This tells the uh, the AL file where the layout file is stored. Um, by default, Fornaf stores it in the layouts folder, which you can find in, in your extension. So right here, I have my uh, Fornaf 56789.docx file. It's important to know that for universal code, uh, so the universal code on-premise and cloud, Fornaf stores the layouts in a docx file. If you use an older DLL installation on your on-prem system, you will find your layouts in an RDL folder, in an RDL file. Uh, but the, uh, the, pro, the, uh, the concept is, is exactly the same. You have a code file and you have a layout file. You can store this layout in uh, somewhere else if you want. Um, so what you could do is create a new folder and say reports and just store your docx file and your al file in both of inside the reports folder. In that case, of course, the, uh, the word layout file folder is not correct anymore. That is now in the reports folder. And please remember that the word layout folder is uh, specified from the base, from the root of the extension, and not from the location of your AL file. So in this case, uh, even though they're both in the reports folder, I need to change this to reports, so my extension can find my uh, my AL file. Like I said, um, even though the reports are stored in two separate files inside the extension, if I open my report. Let's just open the report from the server. If I open this report in the Fornav Designer, since I have full control over the uh, source extension, in the Fornav Designer I will be able to change both the AL file and the layout file. And that's very important to know. It's one of the, one of the ways that Fornav makes your life as a developer easier. Uh, but it's also somewhat confusing since these are two separate files. So you will notice that if I select my list data item, you will notice I have all of the properties of that list data item, even though that is not stored in the actual layout file, it is stored in the underlying AL object. Let's close this and let's move on to the final bit of this, uh, of this coffee break and we can create and modify custom report layouts. Now, like I said earlier, custom report layouts are stored inside the Business Central database. So I will have a look at, uh, at Business Central. And as an explanation, I'm going to keep working with the uh, 56789 report that I'm currently working on. You will notice right now in my list of four nav reports this is just a four nav my reports list uh, where all of the custom re custom reports are stored uh, inside here it now says built-in layout click here to create a new layout if i do that for now will open the uh, for now designer and i can edit my report now it's important to know that if i do this for a report where i have source control over the uh, over the reports extension I am still able to change my report's dataset, 
uh, but I can't store changes to the report data set in a custom report layout because in a custom layout I'm only editing the layout file and not the underlying uh, code file. So what I'm going to do is just uh, make this yellow and now when I've made my changes I have a couple of options. I can save my layout as a custom layout uh, or save as a custom layout and activate which will create a custom layout uh, so a new layout file stored in the business central database or I can save as object on the server which means that I can uh, change the underlying report extension and not uh, and I won't create a custom layout or if I want to I can merge this report into an existing extension so in Fornav you can have one extension with all of your reports instead of one extension per report. It's one of the later additions we've made. So right now I'm going to save as a custom layout and activate. And what happens right now if I refresh this page you will notice that this report is now using a custom layout. If I open the custom layouts for this report you will notice that it's uh, it's got this custom layout file and these are stored not in a Fornav specific table but these are just stored in the custom report layouts table of business central and if I open that table there's a couple of things you need to know about this you notice I have my uh, 4956789 report and this has a custom layout it's a word layout like we expected because that's what we had in the extension and this layout is enabled only for the company Cronus International so you can specify with these custom layouts for which company you want to use them. Uh, I'm perfectly happy with this. You will notice there's a bunch of different custom layouts for standard Fornav reports. All of the email bodies are, uh, are all custom report layouts. So those are the custom layouts. Like I said, it's just a standard Business Central table that Fornav use to create these custom layouts for your reports. Now an important thing to know is that because I have created a custom layout for my extension, if I ever want to move this to a production system for instance, now I need to move both the custom layout and the underlying extension because my changes to the report have been done inside the custom layout. And the custom layout will always override the layout that's in your extension. It doesn't merge or anything, it just uses the uh, AL file, the code file from the extension and the custom layout from the custom layouts folder. It also means that if you create custom uh, reports, you need to be very careful if you are not changing uh, layouts, uh, layouts in a custom layout or if you are changing the built-in layout. Of course, you also want to change the standard reports. Now, these are the standard 4NAV reports. This is an extension that has been created and uh, is uh, maintained by 4NAV, uh, which is good because you don't need to do that yourself. It also means that you don't have access to the underlying objects in this report extension. So you can't change the report's AL objects, you can't change the report code, but like I said, you can create a custom report layout and you can change the way the reports are displayed inside the custom report layout. And if I open this standard 4NAV report, if I select the list data item, you will notice I see the list data item because I need to know it's there. But you also notice that in the data object here, I can't change the, uh, the data item properties because those are stored in the underlying extension. I don't have access to them. But I do have access to the complete layout of the report, which means I can do all of the layout changes that I want. Let's make the text yellow uh, because that's so very readable. If I come to save this, you will notice I can't save, as, save it as an object on the server and I can't merge it into an existing, existing extension. Like I said, I don't have control over the source objects of this report, but I can, can save it as a custom layout on the server, which means that if I refresh this page, this customer list now has a custom layout, which I can do with as I please. So that's how you would change these uh, these standard 4NAV reports. Finally, we'll have a look at the custom report layouts again. And if we find our customer list, it's right here at the bottom of, uh, of the list, 
you will notice that now has a new custom layout, the 4NAV custom layout, also enabled for Cronus International. So let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was to explain the structure of 4NAV reports. We found that reports are stored inside extensions and that they consist of both a layout file and a code file. We created a new report extension and looked under the hood of that. We found that the 4NAV designer lets us design the layout and the code files simultaneously. Finally, we created a custom layout for our new report. We noticed that we could create a custom report layout even when we don't have control over the report source extension. This lets us edit the layouts of standard 4NAV reports. Thank you for listening to me so far. Let's see, we don't have any questions at the moment, so I will wrap up this coffee break. If you want to know more about 4NAV, or if you want to download the 4NAV designer and converter, please visit our website. If you want to install 4NAV in Business Central Cloud, please visit the Microsoft App Source. You can watch more videos about 4NAV on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about 4NAV, please email them to support at 4NAV.com. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit forenough.com/coffeebreak. Thank you for thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.